Hello, welcome. Take a moment, try this problem out, and then we'll solve it together. Okay, it says the sequence a sub 1 equals 6. That tells me, first of all, before I go any further, I'm thinking, okay, a sub 1, that tells me it's the first term in the sequence is 6. That's what a sub 1 is. Then they're saying a sub n is what? It's always 3 times a sub n minus 1. Now, a sub n minus 1 is simply 1 before, minus 1 before the nth term. So if I'm looking at a2, a sub 2, it's got to be 3 times, well, 2 minus 1 is 1, the first term, right? So it's 3 times 6, or 18. And I'm just going to write one more term in there. a sub 3 would be 3 times a sub 2. So 3 times 18, which is 54. And so on and so forth. Now this kind of a pattern, this def the way they've written this, is called recursive. In other words, to find any ex any step in the sequence, I looked at the one before it. So if I want to know the fourth step, I'll to the third step. If I want to know the fifth step, I'll to the fourth step, and so on and so forth. But here they're asking you to write it as an explicit definition. All right, it's going to be explicit. So we look at this sequence right here and we say, okay, well, what's going on? Explicitly, if I want to get to the nth step, I don't want to go to all the steps before. Like, what if I wanted to find the hundredth step, right? That would be annoying, right? Uh, to go step by step, to find the 99th step and get there. So you find what's called the explicit formula. So the explicit formula can just, you can plug in the input and find the output. Now you can't always do that, so sometimes we need recursive sequences, but the idea is that explicit can jump around quickly. I'm thinking that in this formula, it starts off with 6, and I multiply by 3 how many times? Well, here I didn't multiply by 3 at all. It was just 6 times six times 3 to the 0, right? 6 times 3 to the 0. 3 to the 0 is 1. Here I did multiply by 1, 3, so it's 6 times 3 to the 1st. Here I multiplied by 2, 3s. It's 6 times 3 times 3, or 3 squared. So the third step, I multiply by 3 squared. The second step, I multiply by 3 to the 1st. And for the first step, I multiply by 3 to the 0. The number of 3s I'm multiplying by is always 1 less than the step number I'm on, right? 3, is, 2 is 1 less than the step number 3. The power of 1 is 1 less than the step number 2. And the power of 0 is 1 less than the step number 1. So it equals 6 times 3 to the, not to the n, but the n minus 1. And that's our formula here. Now I don't see it, right? But that's because they're, they're rewriting it in a different way. They're simplifying it. So if I say a sub n equals 6 times 3 to the n minus 1, remember with exponents, if you see a minus, that means divide. It's like saying this, 3 to the n divided by 3 to the first. When 3 to the n is divided by 3 to the first, it's 3 to the power of n minus 1. You can subtract the exponents. And that helps me see that really it's just 6 divided by 3, which is 2. And that's a simplified version of the formula. It's 2 times 3 to the n which is what we have in choice 3. And I encourage you, plug in values of n. If you plug in 1, 2, or 3, you should get 16, 18, and 54. You'll see that this, this formula does work. All right, I hope that helps.